Hello guys, it's Stephen Black Clairvoyant here, if you haven't seen us before. Um, basically I'm a clairvoyant and I draw people's loved ones as well. Um, and what you're about to watch is a show that I've just literally did a couple of days ago down in Leeds, um, where a girl uh, called Kath from Leeds um, and her family and her daughters were all sitting on a table um, and I brought her sister through, I believe. Um, and I told her absolutely all sorts. The thing is, though, you know, when you read people, right, or when I read people, I get the feeling, like, of energies. Like, I can't explain it because it's hard to explain feelings unless you can relate it to something. But what I'm trying to say here is, like, sometimes I can get a feeling of somebody, right, who's lost a sister, but that person, their sister may have been, like, 20 years older than them. And they might have been more like a mum than an actual sister, even though they were a sister. You know, they might have been a best friend. You know, some people lose friends, but I get the feeling as, as if they were a sister because they were that close. And then she starts singing the song to us, uh, Wind Beneath Me Wings, uh, the Bette Midler song out of the film Beaches. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's amazing. And that was the song that they played at the funeral as well. But there was loads of little things that was validated and confirmed what I was saying to her about her sister. But it wasn't just the fact that, like, it was just her sister. I mean, her sister was, like, a massive influence in her life and with her family and her kids, as you're about to see. But anyway, without further ado, have a watch of it. See what you think. Hope you enjoy it. And make sure you leave a comment to let me know to make more videos if you're enjoying them. What's Kath, isn't it? Aye. She knows how much, like, it ruined you. Because she was like a second mum as well as a friend. Like, I feel like she was just always like the rock. You know, someone you can rely to, but she's seen you with the rock as well. A bit like Wind Beneath Me Wings song. It's like she always looked up to you. Did that you sing that song, that did that you? Song. What, the Wind Beneath Me Wings? Not because she's singing it to us. You know, do you ever know that you're not? She's singing that song to us. This is it. But I didn't know it was the song. I just feel like she's trying to tell you that, like, you were the wind beneath her wings and not in a corny way. Because if it wasn't for you, I was being there for her if they were thick and thin. Like, she probably wouldn't have been here as long as she was. No, it's not, it's not, you, you don't thank me, it's, it's what she's telling us. I actually knew I was going to read you tonight, you know. And I know you are. But you knew I knew that I knew that you knew. <laughs> that's good, we both knew them. <laughs> you must have cleared all of our stuff out, did you? Yeah. She's apologising as well for all the hoarding. <laughs> you supposed to... Shoes, hold on. Hold on, I'm get... hold on, I'm getting in a message, hold on. <laughs> She's telling us handbags and shoes, oh, is that right? You were bad. No, I didn't know how bad it was, but I feel she sort of laughing, like, but embarrassed because there must have been cupboards with just loads and loads, like a cupboard above the stairs or something, where years had to, like, black bag everything and you were just gunning out like minions just one after another that's what she's shown us you know charity shop and then just keep a little bit you know keeping everything because she had like but well, she doesn't like to get rid of now did she like the charity shops or some of her like yeah because she's like saying she loved a bargain but she's laughing but a bargain's not a bargain and she didn't use it did she get buried or was she committed ashes buried but you buried the ashes? Yes. Because I'm getting shown both, that's why I'm seeing the fuck. Yeah, buried ashes, yeah. Just keep showing us roses. Was she a bit of a flower power person? Like, the last that's what I just put on here. What, roses? Yeah. Like dark velvety red ones? I just printed that picture together. You need to put the mic next to your beak. <laughs> it's not on. <laughs> it's not on. One, 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 one. Will you stop fiddling with me, knob? I didn't touch you, knob. <laughs> right. You said, not me, I mentioned the roses. You said that the last things you just put on a grave where that ash just got buried. That's correct. But there must have been next to somebody or it's a family grave or something. It's a family grave. Yeah. Right, because there's a, there's a gentleman in there as well. That's correct. Who's that dad? So it's her mum and dad's in the grave and she's dashes have been put in that grave because I'm getting a dad feeling coming. Yeah. But I'm getting dark hair. 
Does he have dark hair when he's younger or whatever? Yeah, so I'm getting dark hair. Dark hair when he's younger. Aye, uh, because I'm seeing dark hair with him. Bit of a hippie type of look. Aye. <laughs> uh, a bit no. of a look. Well, this is it. Um, something about you taking a photo you said as well. Yeah, just printed it to the next. You were talking to her at the grave, telling her how much you miss her and how much you love her. Yeah. She's not there, you know. know. She says if you put a car in the scrapyard, you didn't sit and watch a bus, you know. I don't know what you want to say, I'm worried. Benedorm, I could not hear. I'm getting deterioration with her, like. You know, and I feel, I feel like she went through the mill as well, like. Like, try to fight and keep her. Uh, but in the end, she's all new, like she just had enough. The feeling I'm getting when I'm looking at her is she got that bad, she we couldn't be asked. Like, that's what I'm she getting with. Who still tries to wear high heels? No, no, no. Was it her who used to wear them, like? Yeah. But she still had them. I wear these shoes and high heels that my kids wore about wearing around in my bedroom, you know, the little kids. What, your sons? No, <laughs> and the boys, I mean the girls as well. But what, her shoes? Little, my wedding shoes are like that big because I'm on a little. Oh, ah, yeah. It's too long for me. Right. So she's laughing about the high shoes because I had to wear them. Right. I didn't know she'd just shown us high heels. I didn't know what they meant. I, I, I didn't. You'd always know when she walked into the room. Because it was a competition between her and her if who talked the loudest. Yeah. <laughs> You'd start off talking and it was like, and then it was up. <laughs> These must have been like two fuck ones at times, especially when you had a drink in the house. If they were sitting in the house having a drink and you used to upstairs, the floors were vibrating because they used to shout that loud. Who used to see it, man? Will you stop shouting? Because she, she just does it all the time. It is like this, buddy. I'm more close, she's just saying. <laughs> See it again. Dinner's ready. Right, and that's when they were like 14 blocks down next to the park on the bottom of the van. Yeah, we still come on. Aye, my mum's shouting this is <laughs> She mustn't have lived far from years. No. Would you come out and go right? Uh, yeah, initially, yeah. In the and then house. down? Yeah. Because I'm getting took out as if years would walk round, she'd yeah, be watching right. years, and then years would get watched across the field or something, is that right? Coming round the right hand side? No, 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 there were a little bit of grass, yeah. It's not a field. field. Well, I'm seeing grass, but I'm looking at a field. No, it's not, it's not, not a used field. to be a field. Oh, for fuck. I'm getting that you're coming out of the house, you turn right and you've gone round the road, right. she'd be waiting at the gate for years, she watches round. That's right. That, and, and like, that, but she used to always throw years on the bar. To keep her busy because she spent a lot of time on her own, I feel, and it was like, do you know what I mean? She'd been through tough times, but she knew that's what you did it for as well. Do you know? She knew, and she couldn't have, she couldn't have wished for a better, a better sister than you because you were always there for her. You're thanking her, not me. I'm getting the name Sheila. <laughs> Is that right? That's it. Who's starting to kind of be daft with tattoos? <laughs> she wasn't keen on tattoos. No, no. We're full of them. Is it, she's seen as if we're coming a competition or something, like? Yeah. <laughs> Secretly, yeah. <laughs> Who got the crap one on the back on the bottom of the spine? That's Becky. Who, the one who's got the tattoo who's not here? Yeah, and that is a terrible tattoo. Is it like proper, like, yeah, it's the barbed wire? Like, yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. she's laughing about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was she the one who started this trend off or something like? She's the one at oldest, so yeah. Was she a bit of a wild one as well, like? Just, she's a bit of a wild one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So all this makes sense when I'm seeing these then? Yeah. All of it, really. Was that a funeral song went beneath me wings, like? Yeah, Well, yes, like, at the front, to the left side of the service. You must have been in the middle, were you? Because she's saying you were all right, and she was proud of like, oh, well, you lasted until that song kicked in. Yeah. But she'll always be around you, and I'm going to leave a love for you. Is that all Thank right? You. Thank Cheers. You.